Welcome to Broom Library's ERIC database tutorial. ERIC is an education database sponsored by the U.S. Department of Education that contains journal articles, reports, books, syllabi, and many other types of sources. Subject-specific databases are a great way to limit your search results because all of your results will relate to education. To get to ERIC from the library homepage, click on the Databases A through Z link on the left side of the screen. From here, click the letter E and then scroll down until you see ERIC. Then click on the database name. This will take you to ERIC's advanced search page. When choosing your search terms, it's important to remember that ERIC is not like Google and you'll have to break your search down into keywords or ideas. So if your topic is, how does parental involvement impact the academic success of high school students? Instead of searching that full sentence, you'll break it down into pieces like parent involvement, academic success, and high school students. If one of your terms is an established phrase like high school, you can put that phrase in quotes. This tells the database to search for the exact phrase rather than just the two words. However, using quotes can sometimes limit your results too much, so it's a good idea to try searching both with and without. Once you've chosen your terms, go ahead and place them into the search boxes, separating them by concepts as you go. If you click on a search box, Eric might suggest similar words separated by OR to help you expand your search results. This can be helpful because different types of sources use different words to describe the same topic. For example, there are a lot of different ways to describe academic success. If you have more than three key words you want to search, you can add additional search boxes by clicking on the plus sign. To the right of each search box, there is a drop down menu where you can choose to specify to search within a specific field. It's sometimes helpful to search the abstract, which is a short summary of an article. If a search term is in the abstract, then it's likely that that search term is an important part of an article. So this is a useful option to make sure your results are relevant to your topic. Once you have chosen your search terms, scroll down to the Limit Your Results section to view the search limiters. Here you can add filters that will make your search results more relevant. If you don't add limiters on this page, you will still have the option to add some of them later on the search results page. But some helpful limiters you might want to use are searching only academic peer-reviewed journals, limiting the published date, and selecting a publication type. ERIC has many types of peer-reviewed content, so make sure to specify here if you only want results from academic journals. Because ERIC is an education database, it also has education-specific filters, such as limiting your search to a specific education level. Do not use the full text limiter because this will eliminate results that may be available in other databases. Once you have finalized your search terms and limiters, scroll back up and click on the green search button to the right of the search boxes. This takes you to the search results page. Underneath the search boxes, you'll see how many results your search created. If this number is very large or very small, this is a sign that you may need to change your search terms and limiters. If you need support with this, you can always reach out to a librarian. Each result uses an icon to indicate what type of resource it is. For example, this item is an academic journal, but you may also come across reports, conference papers, or books. On the left side of the screen, you can select more limiters if you did not already add them on the previous page. You'll notice that many of the filters are the same as before. However, if you scroll further down, Eric will also now suggest subject terms based on your topic, which you can select to further limit your search. Subject terms are like academic hashtags. They are established key terms the database uses to describe and organize similar resources together. If you don't have time to review your search now, but want to refer back to it later, Scroll to the top right corner of the screen and click on Share. And then copy the permalink, which you can save into a document. This link will bring you back to this exact page and search results. Now let's find an article and click on the title to learn more about it. Under the title, you will find the publication information on your article. When you scroll down, you can read the article's abstract to make sure it's relevant for your research. The abstract is also a good place to look for additional search terms. In this abstract, I see the author uses the terms academic achievement and academic performance, so I could try those in my next search. Another good research strategy is to review the descriptors, sometimes called subject headings, listed for your article. 
Try using some of these established terms in your next search or click on one to view other articles with this subject term. To save a link to this page, do not copy the URL in the browser bar, bookmark the page, or leave the tab open as this page and the link will expire. Instead, go to the Tools menu on the right side of the screen. Click Permalink and copy and paste it into a document. This is a URL that won't expire. Additionally, you might want to click Cite and copy a computer-generated citation of this item. Be sure to review the citation for accuracy as the citation generators are usually not formatted correctly. If you need support with citations, reach out to our Writing and Multiliteracy Center. Now let's discuss how to find the text of this source. For this article, go to the upper left corner of the screen and click Full Text from ERIC. This link will take you away from the library's ERIC database screen and to the ERIC government website. From this page, in the upper right corner of the screen, click the Download Full Text link to get the PDF. However, there might be another pathway to getting the full text. Let's go back to the library's ERIC database and look at a different source. With this source, instead of clicking the Full Text in ERIC link, you can click PDF Full Text to see a PDF and download the article, or click HTML Full Text to see the article as a web page where you can translate or listen to the article. Those three examples are for when Eric has the full text of an article. However, you might find a source that has a red JSB link. This means it is not available in this database. If you need this article, click the JSB link to check if we have this article in another database. Here is an example of a source that we have in another database. Click on the database name to access the article. However, if the article isn't available in any of CI's databases, you'll be taken to a page like this. At the bottom of the page, click Get It to see if our library can borrow the item from another library for you. Thank you for watching, and remember, if you have any questions, look for the Ask a Librarian link or the Ask Us chat button on the library's main page to contact a librarian for assistance.